China's defense minister has been out of the public eye for more than two weeks, with the U.S. government reportedly asserting he'd been taken away for questioning. Now, the Reuters news agency reports that Li Shangfu has been placed under investigation in a corruption probe over procurement of military equipment. For more, we can go to Washington. Song Yan Liu is uh, a fellow for China Studies at the Council on Foreign Relations, the author of Sovereign Funds, How the Communist Party of China Finances Its Global Ambitions. Thanks for speaking with us here on France 24. Thank you for having me. Uh, what can we surmise from the absence uh, uh, of the defense minister? Are you hearing anything further? Um, you know, I would have to say there is there haven't been any uh, confirmations coming from uh, either the Chinese government or uh, any Chinese sources. And this just adds to um, a recent development, which was the uh, disappearance of Foreign Minister Qin Gang and contributing to additional policy uncertainties as well as personnel uncertainties uh, coming from China. It's not happening in a vacuum. We had the same phenomenon uh, with the foreign minister who first disappeared, then was sacked. We had two generals uh, that happened to uh, recently. What's going on? You know, that, it, that really speaks to the nature of uh, the current the, uh, po the uh, power concentration on the one hand in the uh, Xi Jinping administration on the one hand, and it also speaks to the nature of the black box, the black box of China's uh, promotion within the party as well as within the government. Explain the black box. Um, the black box speaks to the nature that um, due, to due to power concentration, there has been a lack of a quasi check and the balances between the different divisions, uh, both in terms of the legislature, uh, the party, as well as the Chinese government. And now uh, the latest development speaks to the PLA. Nobody knows whose uh, policy or political future is going to be. And in the case of Li Shangfu, perhaps there is more than an ounce of truth in terms of uh, potential corruption because he did held a very important position in charge of China's military procurement uh, unit from 2017 to 2022. Well, I was good. That was, you're, you're preempting my next question here, uh, Zhong Yang, uh, which is, in the case of Li, is it uh, somebody who actually is under strong suspicions of corruption and this is a cleanup effort, or is it the sidelining of a potential rival to Xi Jinping? Um, I think the the fact that President Xi Jinping has been able to concentrate power or hold power, uh, concentrating within his own hand, actually uh, speaks to the fact that he probably have a lot of support from the military. Um, however, uh, given that he that the current this economic slowdown in China and uh, in the context of more stringent Western sanction Western export controls, which makes it very difficult and very costly for Xi Jinping to achieve a lot of his self-sufficient, uh, self-sufficiency priority goals. Therefore, he probably really wants to concentrate a more or spend more political resources in terms of anti-corruption and um, perhaps not just in China, but in many countries across the world, that um, there is always one case or two to look into in uh, the military procurement. I would say that this has a lot to do with a lack of resources for President Xi Jinping to achieve his competing policy goals. And uh, if you're Taiwan, if you're China's rivals in the South China Sea, um, is this a reason to worry more what's going on uh, inside the defense ministry? Um, if uh, we, viewing this from Taiwan's position, I think there, there, there are reasons to be worried, 
Part of the reason is because Taiwan is having a very important election uh, early next year, and if the pro-independent party wins, uh, probably the their the, the China is mainland China is going to uh, have a strong reaction. And then viewing from South China Sea and other neighboring countries' perspective, I would argue that probably this speaks to China's internal weakness and pol political uncertainty than China's strength, especially given that the Chinese economic slowdown has not been uh, lived up to expectation. I want to thank you uh, so much, uh, Zongyang Liu, for joining us uh, from Washington. Thank you for having me. Always a pleasure.